What up, what up, SM His Squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl Mel. Here we go, here we go. Welcome, SM Squad. Welcome back, guys. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, hey, if you're having a rough day, we're gonna try to turn it around. Good energy plus some good content, guys. All right. So today, my love, what do we have today? What All right. Got? Today we'll be reacting to the devastating impact of Trump's abortion bans. Whoa, Nelly. Wow. Uh-oh. Let's get into it, guys. All right. Because um, something's not right. Something is not right. All right. So before we get into it, go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And we appreciate the love and support, guys. All right. Here we go. Let's jump into it. I already got my head set on. Let's go ahead and dive into it. As important... <clears throat> as Trump's fascism is, and is the lead story every day. His cozying up to uh, dictators, his uh, obsession with Hitler that has now come out, what he has said about our veterans, and what he wants to do with the military against his political adversaries, it's all huge news. This is the future that we're looking at in the next Trump term, if there is one. But this is what voters know right now that he is killing us. I'm talking about us women. He's killing us. He is putting us at risk. He is making us afraid to have babies. He is putting our reproductive health at risk. And some women have died already wow. because of this. So we can see right now what's coming. These headlines and very good reporting, by the way, that shouldn't be questioned by idiots about what Trump has said about Hitler. That's incredibly important to know. But I do understand that people who are busy and that are people who are just tapping in may not be able to comprehend because we've been free. We've been comfortable. We cannot comprehend that. And it, I understand that. I validate that it is hard to go from here to there. It is where we're going. I hope we don't find out the hard way. But what's happening with women right now is real, and it is playing out across America. Stop it right there wow. for a minute, because that's one thing I do not agree with. The I government not. should not have anything to do with women having birth. Women are dying. Someone died. Because they're not able to get the proper care. And some Someone died. And... That is one thing that I do not agree with. The I just don't understand it. With Trump's policies on this, I do like, not agree. Why would you want to have your hand in that? Because that's your own. No man right. should ever, government, whoever, no one should you ever know, have I, the I right don't, to I don't tell care what to do with her body. If you was to get pregnant right now, and I say, babe, you know what? I don't want. No, I don't have the right to do that. No one should have the right to do that. To say, no, baby, you're going to go get on that table and you're going to have this abortion because we already have six children already. I don't want any more. I don't have the right to do that. You know, the no thing, one should have the right to do that. The thing is, there are things like rapes that occur, you know. Right, incest. People get pregnant during rapes. People exactly. People get pregnant during, you know, with incest. Yes. People get pregnant as teenage girls. Exactly. You know so, what I'm saying? And I don't think you should, the government should have a hand or a say in that. that that's strike is one. I do not agree that is strike with one. at all. And now it's being said that his own generals is saying that, you know, um, he wish he had generals like Hitler. Just to even put Hitler um, in your conversation when you're debating or whatever, that's a strike too. That's a strike. You know, honestly, that's a strike. It's, it's a pretty rough topic because there are a lot of good things about what Donald Trump has to offer the country. I get that and I respect that. But some of the things that he says are ridiculous. And um, this policy about, you know, Roe versus Wade being overturned. Yeah, he wanted to kill that. 
he wanted to take that right out of the he office. He took it. He took it out. And I don't agree with that. You know, and I don't think that's right. And 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 you know, our women. You know, our women. If they want to have children, they can. If they want to abort their child, they can. I mean, it some, should be up to them and only them. Honestly, some women are forced to get an abortion because of the baby having disability. Like they can tell that you know if the baby will have abnormalities, disabilities in vitro inside of the mother's womb. Exactly, and let's just be honest. Inside of her uterus, so. I don't think the government should even think to have a hand in that. Right. We're going to keep on going with the video, but I just wanted to say, you know, let's just say, you know, uh, a, a child 15 gets pregnant and that's going to, you know, um, just slow her life down. It's going to turn her life around and she make a decision, say, you know what, mom, dad, I made a mistake. I don't want this child. I want to go get rid of it. The government shouldn't be able to step in and say, oh, no, 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 no. You got pregnant. You got to have it. That's not right. Let's See, keep I'm going. all about women's rights. Yeah, I mean. This is what makes me, like, back away from this organization. Like, Trump, I am, I'm feeling him, you know, as far as my vote. I haven't voted yet. But uh -huh. this right here gives me pause. This Seriously. right here puts me right back in the middle. This gives me it puts pause me right back in the middle because I'm a woman first. You and know, then I you know, wake up as a woman, right? And if your if your top generals is speaking down on you, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a now, problem. Now I get that. It's I get people. People make up lies and they speak on oh hearsay, but I just this is real. Like he it's real. overturned. It's real. It's you know, real. It's real. Roe versus, versus Wade. It's real and it's not fair. It's not right. And I don't think it should be in law. Um, here we go, guys. Let's keep going. This is really deep. Wow. Obsession with Hitler. Former okay, Chief of Staff John <clears throat> Kelly, a retired four-star general, confirmed that while Donald Trump was president, he said he wanted generals like Adolf Hitler had. Donald Trump said that because he does not want a military that is loyal to the United States Constitution. He wow. wants a military that is loyal to him. He wants a military who will be loyal to him personally. One that will obey his orders even when he tells them to break the law or abandon their oath to the Constitution of the United States. In just the past week, Donald Trump has repeatedly called his fellow Americans the enemy from within. Whoa, and even said Nelly. that he would use the United States military to go after American citizens. And let's be clear about who he considers to be the enemy from within. What? Anyone who refuses to bend a knee or dares to criticize him would qualify in his mind as the enemy within. Like judges, like journalists, like nonpartisan election officials. It is deeply troubling and incredibly dangerous that Donald Trump would invoke Adolf Hitler, the man who is responsible 
for the deaths of six million Jews and hundreds of thousands of Americans. All of this is further evidence for the American people of who Donald Trump really is. This is a window into who Donald Trump really is from the people who know him best, from the people who worked with him side by side in the Oval Office and in the Situation Room. And it is clear from John Kelly's words that Donald Trump is someone who I quote, certainly falls into the general definition of fascist who in fact vowed to be a dictator on day one and vowed to use the military as his personal militia to carry out his personal and political vendettas. Donald Trump is increasingly unhinged and unstable. And in a second term, people like John Kelly would not be there to be the guardrails against his propensities and his actions those who once tried to stop him from pursuing his worst impulses would no longer be there and no longer be there to rein him in. So the bottom line is this. We know what Donald Trump wants. He wants unchecked power. The question in 13 days will be what do the American people want? Thank you. Let's stop it right there for a second because, uh-oh, we got a problem, guys. We have a serious problem. Commander-in-Chief wants to um, basically put out that he would do anything if anyone was to go against him and call them the enemy within. He want his generals to be more like Hitler generals. As she just said, I would love to see Donald Trump address that because, like, you know, I get it is an election and people will say things to make from both parties right. will say things to make each other look bad. I get that. And that is horrible. If that if if that was an accurate statement and he truly said that. That is very First horrible. of all, I don't think John Kelly, I think his name is John Kelly, I don't think that he would even step out there to, just to say that, you know. I don't know. I, you know, um, basically, a lot don't care who tell it. It doesn't matter. But if this, if this is true, um, this is bad for our country. This is bad for our democracy. This is not the direction that we want to go. I mean, I definitely agree with that. But at the same time, when you have children coming home from school saying, Mom, I'm afraid because the bad people are coming through the borders to, you know, are they going to get us? It's like, you know, it, it makes it hard to vote for Kamala because of border control. Like, yeah, um, because he had three and a half years to do something. And it just seemed like nothing was really done. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are torn like we are. You know, we're not the only two people who don't like things on both sides. Right. You know. Well, this is a really dirty game because that's what they do. They pull up all the dirt that they can pull up. And, you know, um, that's the way this game is being, you know, ran. Most definitely. But at the end of the day, we don't need a ticking time bomb in the White House. We don't need someone um, that is going to go against the Constitution, that wants to change the Constitution. I don't, I, I just see something wrong with that. No, I'm not. I'm, you know, we are, I agree with you, but we also don't want to see America destroyed. We do not. Like, people can't even, women, some women aren't even able to go to the hospital to give birth to their babies because the hospitals are full with immigrants, illegal immigrants. I get that. And, you know, doctors are being threatened to be, you, you know, know what? put in jail. I have to fact check that. That, don't you know, let's, that. Let's just be honest. Okay? I saw that in the news, so I'm, I'm going to have this to is, fact this check is like, that. This statement. is like the first year that we really got deep into the politics because we didn't really learn too much about politics in school. Um, you know, so we like learning. 
about this. Everything is like brand new to us. Yes, like we really learning both the first sides. Election that is like eye opening to yeah. everyone. You know, so we just don't want to jump who have out never there. Never voted are going to vote this election. This right. is very scary. It is. It's troubling. It's scary that you know um, the Democrats and the, and the Republicans can never see eye to eye. Can't never like really work together for the people. It's not about you guys. It's about the people. We're not here to promote any party. We're just speaking of how we feel about what's being said and what's going on. You know, it's a lot of good on the Democrat election. side. It's a lot of good on the Republican side. Then you got some bad on the Republican side. You got some bad on the Democratic side. You know, it's, it's, it's well, like... Would you rather have a president who talks and, you know... He may talk badly and, you know, his his words are kind of like bullyish. Well, even though that's not a word, but you know what I'm saying. But he can uh, he has the power to fix the economy. Well, see, or would you want someone who is gentle and, you know, what I like says about the right Trump. things, but you're not seeing a change. What I do like about Trump is he don't beat around a bush. If he say he's going to do it, he's going to do it the first day in office. I really do believe that. I really believe he's going to attack the border. He's going to clean it up and he's going to do the right thing. But then what are you going to do after that? Are you going to tell ba um, uh, women that they can't have babies? Are you going to lock up doctors? No, he's not saying doing... they can't have babies. He banned abortion. Banned abortions. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Thank you for correcting me. Telling women that, you know, um, ban abortions. You, you, it's just, that's just not fair. It's not fair. And the government have no right to step in that. We all have a very hard choice to make. This is difficult. This is very difficult. This is difficult. And then on the other hand, um, you know, when they ask Kamala, is Donald Trump a fascist? She answered it right away. But then when you ask her about the border, she might take about seven to ten minutes beating around the bush trying to figure out what she's going to say. Or what she's, you know, like come out with the answer. I want you to be on point. I want you to be sharp. Come out with it. The people don't want you to think in your head for five, ten minutes and then come out with what's on your heart and what are you going to do. We want to hear right then and there what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, and when. Most definitely. Don't beat around the we bush. We want to be secure about our votes, guys. We do. We don't we do want, want to have to second guess secure. it or step back and think like, well, are we making the right decision? Yeah, because I can only speak for myself. That puts me right back in the middle. Like, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I really do not know. But I really want someone to run the country the, in the correct way for Most the definitely. people. I think we can agree. Not on for that. their self, not for their, you know, for their own agendas or yes. whatever they want to do. Yes. That's not fair. That's not right. We can agree on that. Most and definitely. we still have the most powerful military. And we want to keep it that way. And we want to keep it that way. And we don't want our generals, you know, saying negative things about the commander in chief. That's terrible. People under your own army. Here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and finish out this video. Let's turn to the US now, where Kamala Harris has called Trump a fascist. She also appeared at a town hall today with Anderson Cooper on CNN. Have a look. Yes, I do believe that Donald Trump is unstable, increasingly unstable, and unfit to serve. Do you think Donald Trump is a fascist? Yes, I do. Right away. Yes, I do. He right admires away. He dictators, sending love letters back and forth with Kim Jong-un. Now, the only problem with this argument 
is that Trump has already been president and he wasn't a fascist while he was in office. You might not have liked everything he did, but he wasn't a fascist. He was not. Um, do you think this is stretching it, uh, taking it just a bit too far <laughs> when the Democrats and you know, Kamala Harris, who's running to be president, accuses him of fascism. It's pretty amazing. She's lucky that's the headline that came out of that interview. I watched it, and unfortunately, it was tragic. When even Anderson Cooper, you know, a copper for the far left in America, is out there correcting her and pulling her up and stopping her and reminding her she's been the vice president through all this time she's saying she could have done they should have done better um that's the headline of this cnn is being very very generous with the fascism thing which is just i mean it, it's trivial political point scoring you know anything with an ist at the end of it at this time at the election campaign is just mud flinging um you're right you're spot on People know what Trump is. Even if they don't like him, they know what they're going to get because they've seen it before. And mm. that's her problem because they've seen her before too. And she's underwhelming. I think that's a good point you made though. That's that a great in point. In saying that, in agreeing, agreeing or saying that he is a fascist again, that is now the headline out of that interview rather than all of the other weak yeah. answers that she gave. We are going to come back to those answers because I've got Trump's former acting attorney general on the show later this hour. But Basil, there, have, there has been criticism that um, given Trump has already faced two, potentially three assassination attempts on his life, that by calling wow. him a fascist, by claiming that he likes Hitler, this dangerous language could once again incite violence against him. What do you think of that argument? Well, that's, uh, that's possible and uh, a, a case could be made for that argument. Uh, I think what it really reeks off, though, is desperation here from Kamala Harris, trying to reverse the trend that's sliding away from her and towards Trump. Uh, this is his third time around the block in terms of a presidential campaign, and it's at the 11th hour of the third occasion when he stood before the American people and asked for them to consider him to be their president of the United States. It doesn't matter that they call him a fascist or any of the other stuff. They've already judged him on all of those things. It's not about Trump and what people think of him. It's really about what they think of Harris. And I don't think she's done enough to give anybody enough confidence that she's a leader of substance in waiting. Mm. Yeah, there was a good line actually in, a, in an article in the Sydney Morning Herald I read earlier that effectively Trump has been running for office for nine years, Kamala Harris just for a hundred yeah. days. So he's a very mm. well-known quantity to, wow. to everyone around the world. They know what they're getting, but Kamala, there are still there's still concerns, there's still uncertainty about what she actually stands for and what she do in office. All right. There Absolutely. you go. Um, there it is. So basically, for the American people, we just not convinced. But you know, Kamala Harris, I'm not now, convinced. In all fairness, she hasn't been president yet. No. She's the candidate who has never been in the seat. No. You but know. she do have her foot in the door. You know, she's she has in her foot in the door. She's, she's, she's in it. But in all fairness to Donald Trump, he's been president. He's been president. And the country was running a lot smoother. The country when was, he was president. And we all can agree. Better. We all can agree to that. Even if you don't like the better. man. I mean, goodness gracious. I yeah. get it. He's he, you know, he says whatever comes to mind. Trump is a uh, but <laughs> gangsta. <laughs> I mean, Trump, man. I get it. Ah. Uh. But if we're going to war, who would you rather have? Mm. Who would you rather have to protect your children? Mm. And then it's like we seen like a little clip of I think it was like in Mexico where a lot of people was they just were running over was here. just bum rushing. Like five military officers that was trying to hold them back, and I was like, "What in the hell is going on?" I don't think people are really seeing what's happening. Like, is this real? I have never seen so many missing children in my life. Like, that hold I'm, on, that I've been seeing in the past three years. We are in danger. I had to remove my social media account because wow. it was so sad seeing a missing child every day. Every day, like what? Like what is going on? Like, what's happening to and 
that's like the main thing Trump is winning on. He can close the border. He's going to do it the first day in office. I can respect that. I can truly respect that. Like, we want to be safe first. And then we want to get to everything else that we can iron out. But first, our safety. You know, that means a lot. Most definitely. If we're not safe, we don't even... Who, who wants to vote if they're not safe? You don't even want to go out to the voting polls because, hey, something might happen. We want to feel safe to, to go out to Walmart. Walmart and go out to shopping and vacations. If we want to go to Mexico, wherever we want to go, we want to feel safe. And right now, um, it's no safety. It's no safety. It's just coming in. Coming in through the back door, front door. I mean, they coming in through the. I wouldn't just under. want to walk into another country without no, you know, the proper documentation. No, I would. I wouldn't want to do that. And but I don't, they're saying no. that people, it's it, there are things going on in Mexico, and I get that. I pray for the Mexicans who are, you know, being slaughtered by the cartels and everything. I have a heart for those people, but there are also people here in our hoods who are being slaughtered. You know where we Absolutely. come from. That doesn't so mean like, that we can. You know, run over to another country. I just feel like I just feel like we gotta clean up illegally. our own backyard first before we can try to do anything else or help anybody else. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Because um they also said people from Venezuela is coming over. The Venezuelan gangs. gangs. They're just coming over, taking over, doing anything that they wanna do. I saw a video. It's terrible. They were like breaking down someone's door and they're recruiting younger kids. That's terrifying. You know, like, come on. Very scary. And we supposed to be the, the you know, most powerful country? Like, hold on. We got to put a stop to this. And the Democrats had a chance for three and a half years to do this. Let's get this part under control first. And then we can get to the tax cuts or the abortion bans or whatever. It's like it's levels to it. <laughs> let's let's stop this first. And then we can get to this and then we can get to everything else. But right now, you can't really do nothing when you're in danger. When people are not feeling safe. Like, what can you do? Both candidates have about... 10 days left to convince this is it. America. This is it. And, you know, whoever win, I feel like it's still going to be a problem. I mean, I pray. I still think it's going to be a problem. And for our country. God but bless honestly, the United speaking, States of America. Honestly wow. speaking. We need prayer. I want this stuff cleaned up. I don't want four more years of what we're going through. Definitely don't want no more inflations. I don't want to, you know, a rewind or reset on this, what we're living now. Yeah, I don't. I definitely don't want to go back. Definitely do not want to go back. Um, want to move forward and want to, you know, see a difference. We want to be homeowners and you Damn know, right. with the good American <laughs> dream. Take us back to the American dream. Yes. And that's another thing. You know, a couple of years ago, we tried to move to Houston. And we was denied homes. First time. First time home buyers. We were denied. Over and over and over and over again. Truth be told. Because my credit score was under a certain amount. This is America. I mean that. I, I, I understand that. As far as credit score. I mean, I'm just speaking out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hold on. Like, I mean, you're, you're why was it so to... hard for a, a, a married couple to get a home in Houston? We had the money. Not, I ain't had the best credit score. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, we was denied. 
I, I, I don't know. Sad I, situation. It's, 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 it's sad, <laughs> but it's true. It's a sad situation. You know, we say, hey, we can double up on the rent. Maybe the fact we're going to give you three times the rent. Deny it. Deny it. Deny it. Deny it. And this is under the Democrats. Change the rule book up. Change something up. We got people in the house right now. Three and a half years. I haven't seen a difference. It's the same thing. For the last eight years or whatever the case may be, man. Come on. We need we need new something. Something new. Just give us something. Give us something. Give people hope. Give us something. People want to have hope again. <laughs> something. Anything. People are definitely losing hope. That's our time, guys. We signing off. And make sure you definitely smash that like button. All right? Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also get into the comment section, guys. Let us know. Drop videos that you guys want us to go over and react to. Because this is a big learning experience. We are learning about politics. And the game is is ruthless. The, you, you know, you, 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 it's like you got to be careful what you say. You got to be careful who you vote for. It's like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And we didn't see some bad comments in the comment section. We seen some good comments in the comment section. But don't get it twisted. Yeah, guys, we're just speaking. Please don't get it twisted. On our own behalf. Like, we're not yeah, speaking because, for America. Hey. We're not speaking for everyone. We're just telling how you know. We, we're just saying how we feel about what's going on you in gotta America. You got to respect that. And with these candidates, our opinion, we're not promoting an election. A, we're not promoting a party, a certain party. Anyone. We're not telling you guys to vote Democrat. We're not telling you guys to vote we're not Republican. We're just saying how we feel about the situation. Yes. Like we got to dig into this. We have to dig into it. We got to find out a solution. We got to find who's going to be the best candidate to run this yes, country. Most definitely. All right. That's our time. We up out of here. It's your boy, Sean. And your girl, Mel. All right. We up out. Peace. Peace.